They say Elon Musk is a man who builds the future, from rockets that touch space to cars that drive themselves. But what if I told you there was a piece of technology he couldn't build on his own, a breakthrough so advanced that even Tesla had to buy it to survive the next era of energy? This is the story behind Elon Musk's $218 million deal with Maxwell Technologies, and why this little-known company held the key to something that could change how every Tesla and every machine on Earth is powered. The hidden struggle at Tesla. By 2018, Tesla was facing an invisible wall. Their electric cars were brilliant but limited, trapped by the slow evolution of battery chemistry. Lithium-ion cells, despite decades of research, still suffered from one fatal flaw: energy density versus charging speed. The faster you charge them, the more you damage them. The more power you demanded, the shorter their lifespan became. Inside Tesla's research labs, engineers search for answers, for a way to break free from the limits of conventional batteries. They tested solid-state designs, graphene, and experimental anodes, but nothing truly revolutionary worked at scale. Then a mysterious name began circulating inside Tesla's technical reports: a small company in San Diego, Maxwell Technologies. The secret of Maxwell's technology: Maxwell wasn't a startup chasing headlines. They had been quietly working for years on something different: ultra capacitors. Unlike regular batteries that store energy through chemical reactions, ultra capacitors store it physically, allowing instant charge and discharge with almost no wear. It meant they could deliver bursts of power, recharge in seconds, and last millions of cycles. But what really caught Elon Musk's attention wasn't the capacitors themselves. It was what Maxwell developed next. A dry electro technology, a way to make batteries lighter, denser, and more stable, without using expensive wet chemistry that dominated the industry. In simple terms, it was the missing piece Tesla had been searching for. With Maxwell's dry electro process, Tesla could build batteries that charge faster, last longer, and cost less. And more importantly, it opened the door to a future of solid-state energy systems. The very thing that could power the next generation of Teslas, trucks, and even aircraft, the two hundred eighteen million dollar move. So, in two thousand nineteen, behind closed doors, Elon Musk made the call. Tesla quietly acquired Maxwell Technologies for two hundred eighteen million dollar dollars, a move that shocked analysts. Why would Tesla spend that much on a company with barely any market traction? Because the deal wasn't about market value. It was about technological leverage. Maxwell had patents and prototypes that could change the physics of Tesla's energy storage. And deep inside Tesla's Nevada Giga factory, Maxwell's engineers were integrated into secretive divisions, focusing on what Musk later called the Battery Day Revolution. When Elon stood on stage in 2020 and revealed the 4680 battery cell with five times the energy, six times the power, and a 16% range boost. What he didn't say was that many of those breakthroughs were built on Maxwell's dry electro innovations, beyond cars, the bigger vision. But Tesla's ambitions didn't stop at cars. Maxwell's energy tech was part of something much larger, a universal energy ecosystem. Think about it: a Tesla car that charges in minutes, a power wall that lasts decades, a global network of renewable systems running with near zero loss. That's not just transportation. That's an energy civilization, and Maxwell's core tech made that vision possible. Still, whispers in the energy community suggested that Maxwell's original designs went even further. Some claim Maxwell's prototypes hinted at self-recharging systems, technology capable of harvesting ambient or electromagnetic energy from the environment. If true, that would mean Tesla might be holding the foundation of a future fuel-free world. The mystery deepens. After the acquisition, something strange happened. Maxwell's public research suddenly disappeared. Their independent projects went silent. Their labs were absorbed, and their name vanished from public record. To some, it looked like a corporate transition. To others, it looked like secrecy, as if Tesla had found something too valuable to share. And the few engineers who spoke about Maxwell's work hinted that the technology wasn't limited to just better batteries. Possibly a completely new method of converting energy. What was Tesla really after? Did Musk see Maxwell's innovation as a stepping stone to the infinite energy revolution, 
one that Maxwell Chikambutso himself had once claimed possible, the energy war begins. As global competitors like China, Europe, and new African innovators began exploring self-powered systems, the race intensified. For Elon Musk, securing Maxwell wasn't just about Tesla. It was about control over the next energy paradigm. If Maxwell's technology truly held the blueprint for limitless, sustainable energy, then $218 million wasn't a purchase. It was a claim on the future. The return of Maxwell's technology. Fast forward to today. Five years after that quiet acquisition, traces of Maxwell's technology are resurfacing, but not under the name Maxwell. Instead, fragments of their research have been quietly woven into Tesla's most secret ventures, projects so advanced that even insiders only refer to them by code names like Project Helios and eQuantum. Whispers from Gigafactory insiders claim Tesla has achieved something extraordinary, a self-balancing energy loop, a system that can sustain itself through continuous energy recirculation, almost like a miniature ecosystem of power. At its heart, Maxwell's dry electrode architecture, re-engineered, reimagined, and now capable of integrating with Tesla's AI-driven power optimization chips. What this means is staggering. Instead of relying entirely on grid electricity, Tesla's upcoming prototypes could harvest, recycle, and redistribute their own energy using internal electromagnetic feedback systems. In other words, a car that partially powers itself. And if that sounds familiar, it's because someone else half a world away has been working on a similar dream, Maxwell Chikambutso. Two Maxwells, one vision. When people hear Maxwell, they often think of the scientist James Clerk Maxwell, the man who formulated the laws of electromagnetism. But today... Two men named Maxwell are shaping the same destiny from different corners of the globe. Elon Musk's Maxwell Technologies and Africa's Maxwell Chikambutso share an almost poetic link, both exploring the possibility of self-sustaining energy. Where Chikambutso's devices claim to draw power from the environment, Tesla's Maxwell Tech works by maximizing every electron already in motion. Different philosophies, but the same goal, to end dependence on fossil fuels forever. Recently, leaked reports suggest that engineers studying Chikambutso's inventions notice structural similarities between his MSCD generator's energy compression cycles and Tesla's adaptive capacitor systems. Coincidence? Or has the line between the two Maxwells begun to blur? China enters the race. But as these silent developments unfold, another player is moving quickly, China. After years of watching from the sidelines, China has launched an ambitious initiative to integrate Maxwell-style ultracapacitor grids into its new energy vehicles. In 2024, a Shanghai-based firm reportedly demonstrated a prototype EV that could charge in under 90 seconds, and the patent? It referenced dry electroderivatives, suspiciously similar to Maxwell's old designs. For Elon Musk, this isn't just competition. It's a potential technological leak. If China perfects large-scale dry electro-manufacturing first, they could mass-produce cheaper, faster-charging EVs long before Tesla completes its next gigafactory expansion. Behind the scenes, intelligence sources in Silicon Valley suggest that Tesla's R&D teams have ramped up Maxwell-related research, possibly preparing for something monumental. A next-gen Tesla that never needs traditional charging. The prototype that changes everything. In a restricted hangar outside Austin, Texas, a strange new machine hums quietly under heavy guard. It's not a car, not a truck, but something different. A modular energy block set to house the Maxwell Continuum Reactor, Tesla's rumored forever cell. This prototype is said to operate without chemical degradation, converting electromagnetic and kinetic energy into constant electrical flow. A device small enough to fit inside a car, but powerful enough to run an entire home. Those who've seen it describe a faint blue glow and a humming vibration, a sound, they say, that's too alive to be mechanical. Some even whisper it's Tesla's version of a controlled self-power system. The next logical step after mastering the dry electrode. If true, it means that Musk's $218 million investment wasn't just for better batteries. It was for the foundation of infinite energy. The storm over the desert had cleared leaving only the glow of Tesla's hidden Nevada facility flickering under the stars. Inside, Elon Musk stood silently, 
eyes fixed on the prototype, an object that had consumed billions of dollars, years of research, and endless sleepless nights. But despite all of Tesla's brilliance, one thing was still missing, a true breakthrough in energy density. That's when the name Maxwell Technologies began echoing through Tesla's internal corridors. Maxwell had quietly developed something extraordinary, a revolutionary ultracapacitor technology that could charge in seconds and release power with almost zero degradation. No chemical reactions, no wasted energy, no long recharge times. It was clean, instant, and nearly infinite in cycle life. Tesla's engineers had tested everything. Solid-state graphene batteries, even quantum prototypes. But nothing matched what Maxwell had achieved. Elon knew it. If Tesla didn't acquire Maxwell, someone else would, and the future of electric mobility would slip away. The $218 million deal wasn't just a business move. It was a rescue mission for Tesla's long-term vision. Maxwell's dry electrotechnology promised a new generation of batteries, lighter, cheaper, and capable of extending EV range by over 30%. It was the missing link between Tesla's dream of full electrification and the physical limits of current battery chemistry. But what no one outside Tesla knew was this. Maxwell's invention went beyond electric cars. Hidden in the company's patent library was a concept for an energy self-sustaining system, a design that could theoretically power itself indefinitely using a combination of high capacitance fields and resonance transfer. To most engineers, it was impossible. To Maxwell, it was a beginning of infinite energy. When Tesla absorbed Maxwell, much of that research vanished from public view overnight. The patents were sealed, the labs dismantled, and key engineers quietly relocated to undisclosed facilities. Rumors began to spread. Was Tesla working on a new kind of battery that never needed recharging? Or had they stumbled upon something even greater? Something that could render fossil fuels obsolete forever? Months later, a small test vehicle rolled out of Nevada desert. A sleek prototype with no visible charging port. Engineers called it Project Helios. It could drive continuously, its onboard systems recycling and re-harvesting its own energy. The public never saw it, but insiders claim it changed everything inside Tesla. Elon reportedly told his team, This is what the future looks like. This is why we needed Maxwell. For Maxwell's original engineers, it was both triumph and tragedy. Their work had reached the global stage, but under Tesla's banner. Their dream of infinite energy was alive, but hidden behind corporate secrecy. In the end, Tesla's acquisition of Maxwell wasn't just about better batteries. It was about control, the control of the next global energy revolution. Maxwell had built what others could only imagine, technology capable of freeing humanity from the grid itself. And while Elon Musk brought the world closer to that dream, the full truth about Maxwell's technology remains locked away, waiting for the right moment to reemerge. Because one thing is certain, the deal wasn't just about money, it was about power, unlimited power.